Hey guys, it's Sam. Yeah. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. For today's video, I have a foundation review on the ColourPop No Filter Foundations. I picked up the liquid version and the stick foundation. I picked up both of these because I wanted to see how well they um, compared to each other. And so far, I mean, you're going to see the video, but I am really, really impressed. I have been really, really excited when this one launched. I really wanted to try this one when it first launched. When they announced that we're going to come up with a stick foundation, I decided to wait a little bit so I could pick up both of them and do this comparison video for you guys. Before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe in the little button down there and let's get on with the first impression. Okay, so I have the foundations right here in front of me and I am so excited. Um, so I'm going to read off whatever um, it says on the ColourPop website. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start with the um, stick foundation they're all under the no filter foundation kind of like category on ColourPop and for the no filter foundation stick I don't know if you guys can see that with my lighting um, this is a packaging right here I ordered two foundations because I ordered one for my actual like foundation and then I ordered one to use to say contour shade I mean I ordered these online so I couldn't really like I had to like guess on my shade um, I already like I didn't swatch them, but I kind of like I opened the packaging and everything, and I saw the colors, and I was like, oh, it was a pretty good match to my eyes. I don't know, I'm a little bit blind. This one's a no no filter foundation stick, and it goes for ten dollars. There are a total of thirty shades. I picked up the shades dark one six one n and light seventy w. I really like the packaging. It, it looks kind of like sleek, um, and it says uh, ColourPop right here. This is the color Dark 161N, and this is the contouring shade. Which it, looks, it looks a little bit orange on camera, but actually in real person, like it looks really nice. I'm going to go ahead and swatch this one for you. Um, like I said, this one I picked it up um, for my like contouring shade. It's right there. It's actually a really nice color. It feels super creamy, so it's going to be like kind of easy to like blend. So I really like that color. Each stick comes with 9.5 grams of um, product and then the other color that I picked up is the color light 70w and this is a color that I picked for my actual like foundation um, I have like yellow undertones so let me see oh it's actually a pretty nice color and that's the foundation right there I, again, like it's super creamy. I'm really excited. It says on the ColourPop website, uh, no filter foundation stick. Swipe, blend, and go with no filter stick. It conceals, corrects, and perfects for a flawless complexion in seconds. It's medium buildable coverage, instantly blur, uh, blurs pores, covers blemishes, and blends effortlessly. For a natural skin-like finish, never cakey or drying, this stick glides on the easiest application. Perfectly portable, take it on the go for mess-free touch-ups anytime, anywhere. And um, for the application uh, tips, it says apply foundation to your film skin um, and then blend it out with a brush or a sponge. And I know that for stick foundations, it is... Sorry, airplane. Um, for stick foundations, it is way better to use a brush. So for today, I'm going to be taking my It Cosmetics um, Love is the Foundation foundation brush. If you haven't seen my first impression on this brush, I'm going to be linking it up here with a little card. Uh, so yeah, we're going to be pairing these two today. I also picked up the ColourPop um, No Filter Foundation. This is the liquid version. And I want to do like a um, side by side and see which one I like better, like as far as like the application and the coverage. Um, I did watch a couple of videos for the stick foundation and it was... Um, they were saying kind of like you needed to more like build it up just as it says on the website So on the liquid no filter foundation. I picked it up in the color medium 80 the colors actually look very very similar I haven't swatched this one. Um, I just I'm looking like out of the bottle So I'm thinking it may be a little a tiny bit too dark, but we're gonna make it work So let's look on the ColourPop website. This is the no filter natural matte foundation and this is this goes for twelve dollars this foundation right here has 40 shades available and let's see what the claims are so it says no filter natural matte foundation um, developed for the selfie age our buildable full coverage natural matte foundation delivers flawless looking skin from day to night the oil-free lightweight formula blends smoothly and it is easily customizable to create the coverage you want 
build it up to she build it up or sheer it out it was developed with innovative soft blurring pigments to deliver true color while looking and feeling natural the lockable pump is easy to use and keeps your routine mess free as always 100 percent cruelty free and vegan and this one goes for 0.85 fluid ounces so obviously the measurements are different. For this one, I'm gonna be using my beauty sponge because I find it way easier to blend a liquid foundation with a sponge than it is with a brush. That's like my, what I prefer. This side, I'm gonna be using the stick foundation and on this side, I'm gonna be using the liquid foundation. And I am really, really excited. I'm not sure if the colors are gonna be matching, like each side. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and see. As far as both foundations, you can definitely build them up um, this one is a matte foundation, so it's supposed to keep you a little bit on the matte side. I have used stick foundations in the past, and they tend to make me a little bit oily um, throughout the day. But I'm going to take my stick foundation, and I'm going to be just applying it directly to my skin, and then blending it in with my um, brush. So, I don't even know like how much I'm supposed to be using, so... Let's just take the brush and I'm kind of like stapling that brush or that foundation on my skin and then I'm going to be buffing it out. I can definitely see a difference. It covered my redness on my cheeks right here. It feels super natural like I I don't feel anything on my skin so I'm gonna play a little bit more here which is more like my trouble area and on my forehead first impressions it cover my redness perfectly it blends super super nice with this um, like I said I prefer using a brush when I use like stick foundations um, you can definitely use a sponge if you prefer um, I did see um, Juicy Jazz she reviewed this foundation with a sponge and I did see like it took her a bit a little bit longer with blending the foundation with a sponge um, but so far so good I just want to see how everything like actually like blends as far as the other foundation in the contour side, um, the contour shade. This side I applied the um, stick foundation and you can see that it definitely covered a lot of my imperfections and I just used one layer and this is my side with no foundation. So you can definitely see the difference. Now we're going to go ahead and use the liquid foundation which I'm a little bit nervous <laughs> because this shade like matched me perfectly. Um, so we're going to go ahead and I'm just going to dot this on my face. Actually, now that I'm blending it, like the color doesn't look that similar to this side. Maybe just a tiny bit darker on this side, but essentially like there's not much of a difference like you can barely see it on camera that this side's a little bit on the yellow yellowy side which actually like looking in the mirror um this shade looks a little bit um lighter to my like my color down here than this side this side like actually matches me like perfect so i'm happy that i didn't go like three shades darker or lighter so Again, with the sponge, um, it's super easy to blend. It's blending super quick with the sponge. It is very liquidy, so it's a very liquid, liquidy foundation. Um, I'm comparing it more to my Fenty Beauty foundation. Uh, the Fenty Beauty is a little bit more on, like it's not so liquidy. This one's really, really liquidy. Uh, but guys, the coverage is amazing. Like both foundations, both foundations look like amazing I am so impressed I definitely see a difference as far as like my pores and like the texture of my skin um, on this side which is the stick foundation I do see a little bit more of um, texture in my skin I mean but that's a little bit normal because of the like consistency of the foundation I'm just gonna take a tiny bit of that foundation and apply it a little bit here just so that we can kind of like match 
the coverage from this side. I'm going to go ahead and contour. I'm going to take the shade Dark 161N and I'm going to um, contour this. I'm gonna do one side. I was gonna like do everything, but I'm just gonna use my sponge and use one side at a time, just because I don't know how fast this dries. So that shade actually looks really, really good on my skin tone. I actually really, really like it. Okay, so this is the liquid foundation. Which I'm guessing it's gonna blend. Yeah, really nice as well. I am just realizing that I didn't put any foundation in the middle of my eyebrows and it looks so weird. Uh, I'm gonna take a little bit of my stick foundation. There we go. <laughs> that looks so weird. First impressions, um, both sides look flawless. They, I mean, in person, actually both sides look exactly the same color now that I added a little bit more on my stick side on camera you can see a slight difference of shade uh, from the liquid to the stick but overall I am so impressed with this foundation the way that that contour shade blended on both sides it was amazing I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my face and I'll come back with my final thoughts as you can see I finished my face and this look will be up probably next week um, I totally took inspiration from I Love Sarai, like I'm not trying to take credit, but I really like her monochrom monochromatic look and I just went for it. So um, I finished my face, everything blended perfectly, seamlessly, like I am so in love with both of these foundations. As you can see, the colors don't look that different once I finish my whole face. As you can see, this is the um, liquid foundation side and this is the stick foundation. As you can see, you don't see much of a difference. Um, both sides look, I mean, to me, they look exactly the same. I don't know if on camera it looks a little bit different. Um, this side looks a tiny bit, um, a tiny, tiny bit darker just because of the shade colors right there. Um, but everything blended so, so nice. The contour stick blended perfectly on both sides. My powder, everything seemed so perfect. Um, if I see like on the mirror right now, I mean, I finished doing my face about, um, I want to say like 30 minutes ago and it looks perfect everything blended so seamlessly like I said I can barely see my pores it definitely uh, blurs out your pores um, everything my highlight my blush my contour everything blended so so nice and I am like I'm so impressed guys like I am so in love with these foundations I'm going to be writing down in the description box um, what are like my final thoughts as far as like the coverage throughout the day. But yeah, I am so impressed. And if you want to know like my absolute final thoughts, I'm going to be uh, writing down in the description box. So don't forget to check that out. And yeah, that is it for this first impression on the ColourPop foundations. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to subscribe in the little button down there as well as giving a thumbs up. Um, all the products that I use in this video are going to be linked down in the description box. And until then, I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye!